If you're looking to create some sweet new content for your business to help with your marketing, you really don't need to look any further than the Adobe Suite. But with so many separate programs to choose from, which one is best for you? P.S. This is in no way endorsed. I'm just a big fan. Well, let's find out. I'm Alex, and this is Giant Wednesday. It used to be several years ago that you had to buy Adobe programs separately or as a bundle, but you were basically locked into one version of the program with the need to upgrade every time Adobe brought out some shiny new features. Bring on the pain of moving the old version you paid for into the recycling bin. But thanks to Adobe's clever marketing, the Creative Cloud, or CC, is a subscription service that gives you access to the latest tools and programs from the Adobe arsenal. So long as you're subscribed, you always have access to the latest versions and the best tools for your content creation. But with great power comes great confusion. If you're new to the incredible possibilities of Adobe software, you may be a little intimidated by the level of choice. So let's go through the big dogs of the Creative Cloud and see how they can each help take your marketing to new heights. So let's first talk about Photoshop. So unless you've been living under a rock, you should have a fairly basic idea of what Photoshop is. I mean, it's literally become a term in the dictionary. Photoshop is the program to use when you want to easily edit your photos and create new graphics for your website or marketing materials. Within Photoshop, you can edit existing photos to adjust the lighting and then save as a format that works for you. Even doing fancy things like removing backgrounds, which we've actually covered in an episode of Giant Wednesday Creative. You can also easily change the dimensions of an image and use the safer web feature to save a high quality image with a low file size, perfect for your web graphics. Now let's talk Illustrator. So when I first started as a content creator, I always ignored Illustrator because I thought it was similar to Photoshop. But this isn't the case. Illustrator is actually a fantastic program for creating vector graphics. So let's explain the difference. Programs like Photoshop work with raster graphics. Mm, that, that's not a raster graphic. It's basically pixel data. This means that the dimension of your image are finite, and if you blow it up too big or zoom in too far, you're just gonna end up with a face full of pixels. Programs like Illustrator, however, deal with vector graphics, which is basically your computer doing quick maths to follow a path. So the graphics can be rendered at any size at all. You want your graphics on the side of a skyscraper? No problem. This is because behind the scenes, the data being created by Illustrator is actually instructions rather than an actual graphic itself. You can use Illustrator for campaigns where you want the same branding across multiple file formats. For example, a flyer, your landing page, and a poster. You can just load both up in the same screen, the same document, and it easily copy graphics and colors across from one to the other. If you're making a logo, We'd recommend using Illustrator 2, as many print companies these days will only accept files in .ai or .svg format, which you can only really get out of Illustrator. You can create entire artboards with all your company graphics and logos in one place, ready to export at whatever size is needed. Now let's talk about InDesign. You're joking. Not another one? Actually, I never joke about creative software. InDesign is the program to use for publishing and typesetting. In other words, the composition and layout of text. If you're putting together a brochure or magazine that's very text heavy, you're gonna wanna be pretty chummy with InDesign. Within InDesign, you can easily lay out text into multiple columns, control things like line spacing, and even make text curve around images if you're really clever. You can create documents with multiple pages so you can see your whole project at a glance. You can then easily export out as a PDF in a color format that's ready for physical print or online viewing. Now let's talk about Premiere Pro. Okay. You may be pleased to hear that this one isn't an image or text editing piece of software. Premiere Pro is the program for you for all of your video editing and GIF making needs. I mean, we edit all of our episodes of Giant Wednesday within Premiere Pro, so if you're a fan of the series, you can kind of get an idea of what you can do with the software. Within Premiere Pro, you can import image, video, and audio files and stitch them together into a movie masterpiece with full control over the video dimensions and format for whatever social media platform you wish. You can even now automatically add subtitles to your video, which is an absolute game changer and something you should definitely be doing. If you're interested in learning the basics of how to use Premiere Pro, check out this video, which will give you a quick introduction to the key features. Oh look, it's me again. 
And lastly, let's talk After Effects. Now, even among experienced marketers, After Effects can be intimidating, but once you get the hang of it, you can use it to make your content even more dynamic. After Effects is a digital visual effects, motion graphics, and compositing application. You can build a brand new composition from scratch, complete with animated text and graphics, or add to an existing video. I mean, you want to have a lightsaber in your latest piece of content? Wish granted. Ah. Again, if you want to learn the basics of this beast, we've got you covered in this previous episode. Aren't we kind? After Effects is a great tool to add some extra dimension to your motion-based marketing materials and really stand out. So that was a quick look at five of the main Adobe programs that we use for the creation of our marketing materials on and offline. Each program has its own benefits for your marketing. However, they're a whole new language to learn, so get ready for lots of confusing buttons and options. We've all been there, it's fine. If you want your marketing materials to stand out, then mastering these programs will most definitely help. But if the price tags put you off, then I'd say to you that it is a worthwhile investment. However, there are free tools out there, though limited, that can give you a taste of what's available. So we've obviously covered five programs from the Adobe Creative Cloud, and if you're sitting there with a brand new subscription, you're probably noticing that there's a lot more than five programs. There are programs like Adobe Animate and Adobe Audition, uh, things that deal with animation software, things that deal with audio editing, we literally can't cover them all off in this one video, otherwise we'd be here all day. But these are the main ones that you should be using for your content creation. And if there's a specific one that you want us to cover in an episode of Giant Wednesday, then just let us know. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments below, but otherwise make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more great digital themed videos every week. And who knows, maybe there'll even be more tutorials on these programs. This has been Giant Wednesday and I've been Alex and thank you so much for watching.